Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to the briefing for Tuesday, the 3rd of September. Okay, so an optic situation at the moment is, uh, well, a little bit of a mess, really. If we widen this back yesterday, uh, you see the latest update was an occlusion just down to the south, and that's what really just gave us lots of rain and low cloud all day yesterday. Overnight, that sort of moved through. Um, by midday today, yeah, still a bit of a mess. If we zoom in to the Lasham area, it's showing a weakening cold front over the top of us. Then by midnight tonight, that's the picture. So it's just all a little bit messy, really. Um, but hopefully, if, if this cold front does pass through, uh, there will be some sort of clearance this afternoon. Uh, but at the moment, I think we're just underneath it, and it's, well, a bit miserable, low cloud and very, very damp. Tomorrow, also quite uncertain, really. Occlusion sat right over the top of us. This isn't exactly the uh, perfect picture you'd be looking for. Uh, we just have to wait and see on that. I think it will be quite changeable. Um, we'll potentially get some flying. Unlikely we'll get a lot of soaring. Moving on, high pressure in the Atlantic generally isn't moving across us enough, uh, and we're still getting lots of low pressure. Thursday midday at least looks a bit more settled. There's no fronts directly over the top of us, so that could be a little bit better, uh, at least for my last day. Uh, midday on Friday, still low pressure. Not really the best week, I'm afraid. Um, so we'll just have to get what we can out of it. Wins today, pretty much westerly, ever so slightly north of west. Uh, not too strong, about 10 to 15 knots at flying height. Yeah, the sat pick, let's just give it a refresh, see if there's any updates. As I mentioned, just a bit of a mess, really. A sort of a clearance uh, just on the west coast here, uh, possibly behind that cold front. Otherwise, there's a lot of cloud. I think it's going to be cloudy here all day. What we needed to do is just to warm up a little bit so that that cloud lifts into something flyable. Uh, but it's not going to be a 500k day, I'm afraid. Current rainfall, uh, nothing significant over us. Some heavier showers up to the north. And as we run through the forecast, pretty damp this morning, but generally a trend of drying out there's no heavy showers just little bits of drizzle in our area generally drying out and then as we go into the afternoon the chance actually of a uh, more local shower developing you can see they're generally showing just to our east more over london some isolated showers there hopefully we'll stay clear of those but um small chance this afternoon off uh isolated heavy showers but i think they're quite unlikely and you can see there's, there's still drizzle around in the afternoon, so it's not going to be great, but generally an improving picture throughout the day. Public forecast then shows overcast all day with a bit more of a clearance into the evening. Wind steady westerly. Um, quite interesting here, you look down at humidity, a good rule of thumb is if it's above 90%, it's probably not worth getting the gliders out. Uh, below 90, it's probably flyable, and generally the lower the better. Um, so quite high above 90 at the moment, uh, but then dropping off by about 11, 12 o'clock. So the cloud, the cloud might just lift enough by that point for it to go flying. So I think the earliest we'll get the clearance is about 11. If we're really unlucky, it could be more like 1, 2 p.m. Um, but I'm pretty optimistic there will be some sort of clearance for the majority of the afternoon. Uh, bear with me. So midday temperatures, 18s, 19s, with dew points around 13, 14. So kind of a four or five degree split there. So should be flyable at least. Uh, that's a view outside 10 minutes ago. Let's give it a refresh. Yeah, lots of low cloud and it's pretty thick at the moment. That needs to improve a bit. Uh, ODM's forecast, I'm afraid not much more optimistic. Few clouds at 400 feet currently. And basically low cloud drizzle and mist this morning. Here we've got becoming, so at some point between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m., it's going to improve to scatter clouds at 2,500 feet um, with a 30% chance of some showers during that time, um, but a bit better into the afternoon. So, yeah, they're saying the clearance could be between 10 and 2, so if, if we assume it's hopefully about midday at the latest. Uh, Farnborough, similar, low cloud at the moment. The whole day they've put scattered at 1500 um, with a temporary of broken at 1200 this morning. So it's a bit more optimistic. Um, they put 800 feet cloud, which is 600 feet here, light rain and drizzle until 10 a.m. Uh, and the chance of some showers until about 3 p.m. this afternoon. 
So I was slightly more optimistic than Odium, but not a clearance for a couple of hours by the looks of it. Top Meteo, this is at 9 a.m. showing it's red here, very low cloud on the Lasham area. 10, still pretty rubbish. By 11, 12, you can see the cloud starting to lift between about one to 2,000 feet. They are picking up Drizzle one here. I think they're being a bit pessimistic with that as it's on this, it's showing it to sort of stick around all day. Uh, but the cloud's certainly lifting within a couple of hours and, um, well, definitely a clearance by 5 p.m. looking at this. Uh, unsurprisingly, not a lot in the way of soaring today. Sky site a bit more optimistic, showing the cloud lifting by midday up to over 2,000 feet, they're showing, um, with a little bit of soaring potentially, three knot thermals. Um, you won't be going anywhere though. Uh, no TAMs, not really anything going on to worry about. Uh, usual ones that uh, nothing to do with us. Okay, airfield setup will be a standard one on two seven when we go flying. Launch point there with the cables running straight down the runway. Should get some quite nice launches today. Um, might need a little bit of correction to the north. We'll see how that goes. Any aerotos, uh, if there's demand, will be off the northern side of the runway. It's normal. And uh, just a reminder, please avoid rolling over at all or landing on the, the shaded red areas here. So the cross runways that are south of the main runway, as you know, they're in very poor condition. And uh, we've been going through quite a lot of tyres on the glider. So please avoid those and instructors take over as necessary to avoid those. It's a big airfield. That's quite easy to do that. Uh, glider serviceability, all five K21s, three K13s, three baby grubs and three discs at the moment. Uh, so plenty to go around today. There's not many people on the list. So if you're watching this and you're not booked in, you want to go flying, please just turn up. A um, couple of movements. we got a PA31 doing a test flight. So that'll be taking off at 12.30, coming back at 2.30. Technically, we'll see what the weather does and whether or not they actually go ahead with that. Uh, if all is well, they'll then depart again at, sorry, that should say 15.30. So uh, about an hour or two in between each one. So a total of three movements of the same aircraft. Uh, and the simulator is usable. We had a couple of electrical problems with it yesterday, which we've hopefully fixed. So um, please do let me know if there's any issues with it and we can come and have a look. But it should be all working really well now. And I'm sure that will get some use this morning. OK, so we'll, we'll hang around, do some simulator flying, some briefings for the first few hours, and then hopefully we'll be out there flying by about midday. See you in the clubhouse. Bye for now.